folks, uh, Kathy Williams uh, DeVries here, um, bringing you a tutorial and performance of I Was Doing All Right uh, by George Gershwin, uh, which is in the Trinity College London Musical Moments Clarinet Book One, um, and this is uh, List A of the Trinity Guildhall um, <coughs> Syllabus for Clarinet Exams for Grade One. Um, you can download the accompaniment um, uh, at the link listed below um, in the comments section. Um, it's a, a MIDI accompaniment uh, that I created in order to be able to play the piece. Um, and uh, if you wanted to make a small donation just to um, sort of compensate me for the uh, fair amount of time it took me to do it, uh, please uh, don't hesitate. Uh, to uh, to do that. So um, with um, this piece, uh, it says easy swing feel, and they want the quavers to actually be jazz quavers. So instead of ya da 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 da, they're more looking like a triplet ya da 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 da. And I've um, I've actually written the in the MIDI accompaniment um, as triplets rather than straight quavers. So, um, <clears throat> um, you heard how I played it, just basically jazz it up. And you're with the piano there, so if you're not quite sure of the rhythm, listen to the piano. Okay, so um, I don't know if you've come across it before, but a forte piano is like an accent on the note, but you drop from forte to piano in about half a millisecond um, and then come back up again for the um, forte. So, um, that happens a couple of times in the piece. And you'll notice that I'm actually using an alternate fingering for the F sharp, which is an F with the two bottom trill keys. I actually prefer uh, using that F sharp, especially on a forte piano. Um, it's just a little bit more stable. Um, you could all go. Um, but that is completely your choice. So let's do the first eight, eight bars again. There's no real major dramas. They're just getting you to the dump, ba da dump, ba. It's not da 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 da. We are swinging it a little bit because otherwise it'd be, which is I don't know a little bit boring. So. And you can also cover the G a little bit with these two fingers. It'll give you a slightly less sharp one. The, the colour's a little darker and I like it a little bit better. So uh, when we go on, um, again we're jazzing up the quavers. repeated um, after that sort of double bar line and it gets repeated again um, just before the end as well so if you're trying to sort of save time and not have to um, sort of be repeating yourself over and over basically you do the first six bars and then do the next eight um, which is exactly the same as the, the next eight after that so you needn't practice that. Um, you could then skip straight to 25. And 
and notice that the staccato on the crotchets but not on the quavers. <laughs> repeats itself. So let's keep going. So if we take it back to 29, more for you and uh, so that uh, it reinforces what I've been talking about.
was doing all right. Um, I hope that you guys have been doing all right uh, um, listening to it um, on this video. I'm sure it'll give you uh, a fair indication of how it should sound. You can have a lot of fun with this piece. Really get into the jazzed up quavers. Um, get into the forte pianos. Um, differentiate between the staccato and the non-staccato. So, um, uh, please join me for more uh, videos on um, the Trinity College Syllabus Grade 1. There's another um, there's another uh, two pieces in this um, Musical Moments book that's on the syllabus and we'll also be looking at um, Clarinet All Sorts and a few other books so that it'll be fairly covered uh, for your Grade 1 exam. So thanks for listening. Bye for now.